The last 20, 25 years we have seen a constant growth of e-commerce, first starting in Western countries like US and Europe, but over the last 10 years as well in emerging markets, China became five, six, seven years ago the biggest e-commerce market in the world. Um, companies have um, adapted to this growth, have started selling online by themselves, by our distributors, by our marketplaces. Uh, but the growth was constantly there. During the pandemic, consumers couldn't buy offline anymore. They couldn't go into retail stores and they have increased their online shopping behavior. Everybody who needed merchandise, who needed goods basically, went online, bought online. And so we have seen a huge increase of online uh, shopping during the two years of pandemic. That meant as well that many brands had a huge increase of their online volumes and they had to handle it and had to cope with it. And it was a huge challenge to many of our customers. What we're expecting after the pandemic is that um, we will see at least the growth rates falling, but we still believe that the growth will continue. Many of the companies, many customers of ours in retail, in lifestyle, in technology, in FMCG, have seen the demand from consumers to buy goods and their brands online. That means they will adapt further and further into online shopping. They will shift investments from retail, from offline stores into, into more selling online and becomes a huge opportunity as well for many brands selling directly to consumers to own the consumer relationship, to own the consumer data. Uh, and shareholders will expect that as well in the future from our customers.